Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. For some reason, my tablet only I don't, says I have too much storage. I don't even keep files in it. I got a lot of pictures and stuff like that, but I delete all my videos and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know why it only said I had like two minutes and 36 seconds to do a video. If I spoke real fast, I could do it. But anyway, so back to the cop story. So I'm doing this from my phone now. So cop comes over and I've, I've, like I said, I've had my stint with law enforcement and I, I don't wear like a badge of honor. I'm just letting you guys, I'm very transparent. So anyways, um, cop comes over. Normally the other cops I've ever had encounters with to come over and say, Hey, how you guys doing? Or, uh, you know, it's a nice, nice night, you know, officer so-and-so. This guy comes right up and I'm on tarpon talking to Oscar. He's helping. And, and the guy comes up and goes, uh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, they said you hit a hit a vehicle when you were backing up over there. I said, no. I said, I almost did. I almost did. I said, you could literally like stick your finger between where I, the van and the my my tr my trailer. Um, but I told him, I said no. I said you can go. He said, oh okay. He didn't ask me for my license or anything. He said, oh, I'll go down. I he said, what are you guys doing? He said, I'm delivering two hot tubs here to this business. He said he was nice enough to stay late so I could get it undone because I have another pickup tomorrow. He's like, oh, okay. No no mask, didn't tell me. He's literally standing within a couple feet of me, so there's no social distancing. I was like, wow. Anyway, so he goes down, turns on his lights, comes back a few minutes later. He goes, ah. He said, I didn't see anything. He said, but, you know, it's dark, and, and, I'm, and there's a street light literally right over the van, so you can see the entire van. And I took pictures. For my own sake, um, but I knew I know he has a job to do. So he he came back. He's like, yeah. He said, I didn't really see anything. But however, you know, if they call or if I come back, you know, in the morning and look at it again, he said, uh, I'll need to call you. So can I get your license and everything? It was like an like an ad, like you requested. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And I I get it, man, dude. You got to get a job. I mean, you're, you're doing your job, and didn't say anything about the mask and nothing which i was really impressed especially being in seaside california where a lot of do-gooders live um but anyways i was very impressed by that very impressed um and so he he i gave him my oh he said can i can i see your light or yeah he said so can i get your license and your uh, your insurance information so i gave him my booklet i always carry a binder right there and uh so I said, yeah, I gave him my license or whatever, and he saw I was a veteran and everything. He's like, oh, you're a vet? I'm like, yeah. And that always seems to kind of ease him over, especially if you're, I mean, I'm not very clean now. I haven't showered in days. Shame on me, but I can't find a Love's truck stop where I'm getting a free shirt. In a, in a truck, a lot of people don't know this, but when you get 50 gallons, it fit, it loves Flying J Pilot. Um, if you put in 50 gallons of fuel, you get a uh, accredited shower. And they have nice showers at those facilities, but they tax you on the fuel. So of course, it's not really a free shower. You're paying for it. So I try to top off at mom and pop places. Like I think I've said this in many videos. I try to top off at mom and pop places where there's a lot of lot, lot less or a, it's cheaper fuel. So I get a lot of fuel from those places. And then whenever I need to catch a shower, I stop at one of the big boys and I'll put 50 gallons in, and uh, I will uh, I'll take a shirt. But anyways. All that aside, so typically when you're a veteran or whatever and you're, you're clean and you're respectful, you're going to get a clean, respectful, um, courteous answer or um, an approach. So he uh, he runs me, everything's cool, uh, comes back, gives me, because uh, I told him when he says, yeah, he said, well, he said, uh, you know, I didn't see any damage or whatever, he said, but, you know, if they, if they call or whatever, and I, or I come back tomorrow, we'll see it during the daylight. And I told, I looked at him, I said, now, you know, if I were to hit that van, that thing would have been disintegrated. He started laughing. He goes, oh, yeah. And I knew he, he was just coming up with a reason to come back and get my information. And it, like I said, he's just doing his job because say we, say we were, it, it, cops do that stuff because they have, it, it's CYA, cover your ass. So if, say, for instance, we were robbing the joint and he didn't get our information or anything, he doesn't have any proof that we were there. If there's no cameras or no witnesses, so they're just doing the, just doing their job, man. Just like I'm doing my job. So, anyways, very nice. So that 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 was very refreshing to not see a cop wearing a mask. Um, 
that that was so refreshing, man. So refreshing. So, like I said, at the end of the day, I mean, if I look to my brothers for answers and for guidance, man, guys, stop wearing fucking masks, man. Like I said, that's that literally is going to be us in a homeless encampment, man. So I know I'm, I'm I'm reiterating what I just said, and I'm kind of beating a dead horse, but my point being is, you know. We, sh we shouldn't be letting them tell us what to do. Um, we're, we're keeping the lights on at the end of the day. And uh, it's raining again here. Oh, hey, if you guys ever saw, so I was I was laughing. I did a video, but then the video wouldn't upload. I was taking Mr. Clyde out, and I don't know what it is with dogs, but you ever, because he was, he was taking care of business. You ever see a dog when they take a shit? Like, if you're watching them, like, they're all coward and they're like looking away from you and it, like they're embarrassed and I mean I my wife's like same thing she's like well would you want somebody looking at you while you're doing that and I'm like no she goes that's why they're embarrassed but anyways I was over in uh, Barstow California talking to my wife on uh, video so she could see him and everything and I looked down and he's fucking sniffing white dog shit it's been for if you guys ever saw the movie Step Brothers, where the dude, the little kid, makes him lick white dog shit, and the one, the one Step Brother, um, not Will Ferrell, but the other guy, he, uh, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you lick that white dog shit. He's like, he's like, come on, Mr. Gardaki. <laughs> so, anyways, he's like, I'll do it. He's like, well, it's only white dog shit. So it's been forever since so I've actually, physically with my own eyes, seen white dog shit. Been decades. And all of a sudden, I'm watching them, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So I, I even showed my wife, Sarah, hi, I love you, baby girl. And Pastor, Ray, I'm Pastor Rick, Brother Stevie K, Brother Jason, Brother Tim, all you guys, love all you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, but uh, I, he, I, 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 he was actually fucking sniffing white dog shit. I didn't think that shit really existed anymore, but white dog shit is, is a real thing. And like I said, I, from what I recall, I saw it decades and decades ago. But anyway, so I showed my wife on the video. She was cracking up. So and I don't know why I just thought of that, but <laughs> it's uh, it's just funny. But anyways, I figure I'll put a little bit of humor in this video. Um, so yeah, once again, I'm sorry for venting. I'm sorry for freaking being a baby and crying in the last one. But it, it just it really hits home to me, man. It really, really, really hits home. And like I said, if you're a large channel and you don't, you're not. You're not out there encourage. I mean, literally doing videos, you know, I mean, you know, like, like in high impact TV blogs or whatever, Brian or whatever, fucking, he's just an instigator at best. He's, he's, he's a troublemaker at best. Talks about how we're slaves and this and that and how, oh yeah, this tyrannical government, they can't do this to us. But yet you're using code words on YouTube to block the algorithms. So you're talking about how everybody else is a slave and how everybody else is falling under this tyrannical government and how we should stand up and unite and not be so afraid, but yet you're talking in code on YouTube. You're afraid to say vaccine. It's like, really? But yet you're telling us that we're all... So you're, you're, you're definitely wearing a mask when you go into places. I'll guarantee you're wearing a mask, Brian, from the High Impact TV. And all these other guys that have all these large channels, I guarantee. Like I said, I've I've done I've done other videos, and I've you know without wearing a mask. And like I said, I know I know it's just a small truck stop or it's just a convenience store. I mean, but even like TAs and and Petros, they're large truck stops. My point is, you have to start with somewhere. Start somewhere. Start wearing. Call me, man. Four one four four seven 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 eight four five. I'll send you a lanyard. With a medical notice tag in it, you pay for the shipping and the handling, and I'll send it to you, man. Um, anyways, uh, I'm I'm cons I'm just totally repeating everything I just said, and I gotta call the shipper guy again to find out why they're not calling me because I'm supposed to be loading over in Pleasanton. Go see my cousin Joe in Sacramento. Love you if you're watching, Joey. I'm gonna go see him and have some dinner with him. So, and that boogie over North Carolina. But anyways, I hope this video finds you well. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.